Medication pass is very important because one-third of the PPS population is on the behavioral health caseload, and most of them are prescribed psychiatric medications. Psychiatric medications are prescribed to help with symptoms such as depressed mood, hearing voices, delusions, and aggressive or impulsive behaviors. When inmates do not take their prescribed medications, they may not think clearly, follow directions, or behave reasonably. They may also threaten themselves, others, and the security of the institution. Inmates sometimes do not take their medications because if the person is severely mentally ill, they may not think that they are sick and or need medication. If the meds make them feel better, they may think they no longer need them. They want to sell or trade them for other things. Psychiatric medications can be very valuable in jail because some inmates want to substitute for preferred drugs of abuse outside of jail and will go to extreme lengths to get them, like taking pills that have been in someone else's mouth. Inmates who are preyed upon may be extorted for their medications. Inmates may also want to stockpile the medications to overdose or get high. Inmates may conceal or divert their medications in many ways. They can cheek their meds, which is the term used to describe an inmate holding the medication inside their cheek or anywhere in their mouth while giving the illusion of swallowing. Inmates may also palm their meds or quickly pass the medications from the administration cup to their hand. Inmates might also spit their medications into the water cup. Another way to conceal medications is for an inmate to pretend to swallow the medication, but leave it in the administration cup and crush the cup and or dispose of the cup in a trash can. Inmates may also put the meds on the back of their tongue and spit it out later. Additionally, inmates may actually swallow the pills and later regurgitate them. One way to help decrease the likelihood of diverting or concealing meds is through effective monitoring of medication pass. Correctional officers are often the eyes and ears for mental health and medical staff. So, how can we properly monitor medication pass? Do not allow any cups to be brought to the medication line. The medication nurse should provide a cup with water for each inmate. Inmates must face the CO when taking medication. Medication must be transferred directly from the med cup to the inmate's mouth. Once the inmate swallows medications, they should show their cup to the CO to ensure the medication does not remain in the cup. Officers conducting a mouth search must observe the inmate while the inmate opens his or her mouth. If the inmate is taller than the officer, the officer should have the inmate lean forward to directly see into their mouth. Officers must also observe the inmate move his or her tongue up and down and from side to side and pull their lower lip down and the upper lip up, exposing the gums. Open your mouth, top lip up, bottom lip down, open your mouth, tongue back, good. Inmates must then put their hands up, spread their fingers, and show both sides for inspection. Good, you see your hands? See the back of your hands? Good. If an inmate is suspected to not completely swallow medication, with the intent to regurgitate, the officer can have the inmate cough. This should make the pill come up from the back of the throat. I keep your hands at the side, cough into the trash can. <coughs> I could open your mouth. Repeat the mouth search after having the inmate cough. Open your mouth again. See the back of your tongue? Okay, good. Let me see your hands. See the back of your hands? Wiggle your fingers? Good. What should you do if you recover pills during a med pass? Confiscate the medication and report it to the shift supervisor. Discipline or write up the inmate. Inform mental health and or medical staff. When mental health and or medical staff become aware, the inmate can be counseled about the importance of medication or, if appropriate, the medication can be discontinued. Also, because some inmates are court ordered to be on medication for their own and other safety and well-being, an alternative delivery system such as floating the meds or injectable medications can be provided in those cases. Remember, medication diversion is both a security and mental health or medical issue, and we need to work together to closely monitor and address suspected problems.